you're wondering which iPad to get, then I'm here to help. There are so many different models to choose from. We've got the Mini, we've got the Air, we've got the Pro, and then we've even got a whole bunch of different generations. So how do you know which one to get? Now, I really can't give you a straight answer to that because it really depends on what size you want and what your budget is, but I can give you a few tips that will help you out. My first tip for choosing an iPad is that it needs to be compatible with Procreate. Procreate says that all iPads that are released after 2015, they are compatible with the Procreate app. So that sounds great, right? Technically it does, but not all of those models support the Apple Pencil. And that's what we want to use. The Apple Pencil is the only stylus that you can use that is pressure sensitive. So that means that when you're drawing or you're lettering, it will create those nice thin and thicker lines. Now for the size of the iPad, you'll want to choose whichever one works best for you. You can either go with a 9.7 if you're going to want to use it for traveling or use it for reading in bed. But personally, I prefer using the 12.9 inch, which is the biggest version available. I think it's the best size for drawing and I really don't use my iPad for anything else other than that. And I love the size of it because it's like an A4 size or an 8x10 which is the size that you would normally draw on. Another thing to keep in mind is that the bigger the iPad, the bigger the price tag. So definitely stick to something that is within your budget. Another thing you can choose from is the capacity or the memory that your iPad has. This can range from 32 gigabytes to up to one terabyte. Personally, I just got the basic model at 64 gigabytes as I export everything to my iMac anyways. But if you're needing a lot of memory, then you can size up. And again, the bigger the memory, the bigger the price tag. And one more option you can choose from is either picking Wi-Fi or you can go for Wi-Fi and cellular. The cellular model is a lot more pricey than just the basic Wi-Fi. So personally, I went with Wi-Fi only as nowadays, everywhere you travel at the airports or at the coffee shop, they've all got Wi-Fi anyways. So those were my five tips for choosing an iPad. It has to be compatible with Procreate, compatible with the Apple Pencil, choose a size that fits your lifestyle and your budget, choose a capacity that fits your needs, and you can choose if you want Wi-Fi or not. So I hope those tips help you in choosing the perfect iPad for you.